Welcome everyone, my name is Miss Allen. Thank you for joining me this week. Whether this be your first time or your sixth time, I hope you're excited and you have fun. This week we'll be discussing a brief history on how paint pigments were created and how they were produced from materials found in Earth. And then we will be discussing our chosen artist. Her name is Julia Bernadelli. And um, like a lot of ancient artists, she also chooses mediums that are found from the earth. And then lastly, we will be discussing our exciting project and how it relates to our chosen artist. Now let's begin with how artists would find their art medium before there were stores like Hobby Lobby or your local art store. Paints have been used for some 300,000 years, so it's really not that new of a concept, but how we buy it and how they had it before is a little bit different. Um, the earliest evidence of paint was found in Africa. It was called red okra, and this is a mixture of clay, sand, which is known as silica, and iron oxide. There's also an okra named manganese okra, which is a pure black okra and it's created from charred um, substances such as wood or bone. There's also called green earth okras and these are created by basaltic rocks or sandstones or marine clays that have been um, ground down into a fine powder. All of these powders are then mixed with a binder. And these binders can range from animal fat, saliva, plant oils, or water. Like these ancient artists, our chosen artist, Julia Bernadelli, creates artwork using media that is produced from the earth. For example, the coffee in its true form is created from the earth and it's technically the pigment so it's a powder. And then mixed with water, which would be the binder, creates coffee. She then uses this coffee, very similar to using um, paint such as watercolor. She creates an image and within that image, she creates shape, she creates details, and then she also creates value. Now moving on to our project. Like previously stated, you can either use watercolor paper, 70 pound weight paper, which is similar to a sketchbook page, or you could use a um, printer paper, which is about 50 pound weight. And if you don't have any of those, or if you would just rather use a countertop, you can also do that and just take a photo of your project when finished. When beginning, remember to spill your tea or coffee very carefully and you want to only spill maybe a couple tablespoons worth of liquid so you don't make a large mess. And then focus on that spill in the original image and shape that um, naturally comes from the spill. Focus on it and see if you can find any images or any shapes that you want to bring out using your spoon or toothpick. And once you've done that, create details. So if you see, for example, if you see a tree within your spill, add some details, maybe a longer trunk or um, more branches, maybe a couple of um, birds, just add a couple of details. And then also try to make sure that you have 
two different values. So make sure one area is darker than another area. You can do this by pushing more liquid into one area that makes it dark and less liquid into another area that makes it light. I will have a few websites listed so you can either watch the full video that I provided. It is a TED Talk and um, there's also closed captioning because our chosen artist is actually Italian and she does not speak English. So there's closed captioning on it and it might be a little difficult for some of you to keep up with so just keep that in mind. And then I will also add a link to a page that has a lot of her artwork and maybe that can give you some ideas of what to create. Um, other than that, have a wonderful time creating art. I hope you all have a wonderful week and be safe out there. Bye!